Woke up this morning thinking, it's here, it's here. The wait is now over. It's World Cup Day. World Cup time. I mean, the first game we've got isn't the most exciting that game in the world. It doesn't bother me. But it doesn't matter, doesn't does it? It doesn't matter. It's World like Cup opening football. that first present and going, oh, just some video tape. World Cup, football, World Cup football is World Cup football. World Cup football is World Cup football, yeah. I can't wait. Who are you, um, who are you looking forward to seeing? Because I, I was looking at the, uh, the schedule um, about an hour ago yeah. and... Some of the games we've got coming up, you've got on Wednesday, you've got Spain in action, Belgium in action, Germany in action, then you've got Brazil in action on Thursday and Portugal. Mm. It's just incredible, isn't so it? So many good names. I mean, of course, you always look for Brazil being a World Cup, obviously five times champions there. Everyone's kind of second team, aren't they? But then you talk about Messi, is it his last World Cup? Can you do it for Argentina? You've got Ronaldo in Portugal, England, of course, Gareth Southgate, um, getting to a semi final and a final of his last two major tournaments. I can't wait. It's going mm. to be so good. So many twists and turns. And that's one thing it won't be, is plain sailing, where you think, mm. right, we could predict from start to finish what's going to happen. There's going to be bumps along the road, but this is World Cup. I can't wait. We are, by the way. I should point out where we are. We're at the TalkSport Fan Zone, which is under the arches in Waterloo. Now, we came in. I got here as a pro, a professional. I got here quite early. I got here about 10 o'clock. Benny, you bowled in about two minutes ago. But we've, <laughs> we've both had a, had a look round, And when we, were, when we were told at TalkSport just where we're going to be doing our live shows from, I, I have to be honest, I didn't think it would look anywhere near as unbelievable as this. Mm, yes, it's fantastic. Massive venue. Pictures everywhere, mainly of you. Um, There's a lot of me, yeah. Classic football shirts around the corner. Called yeah. them guys there that do a great job. Um, it's nice here. Really, really there's, nice There's here. big screens everywhere. So people can get a ticket. You go to the website, talksport.com, you can get a ticket. I, it sounds like I'm selling it. I don't need to sell it. It looks amazing. And I'm, I'm sure most days are actually sold out as well. But there's, I'm just setting the scene for you. There's big screens everywhere. Yeah. There's loads and loads of bars. There's places where you can... It's going to be... It's going to be... Pa- packed every single night but tomorrow afternoon when England that's when it's going to be absolutely and you, even. you and I are here we're building yeah. up to that game as well no, are we doing the build up to it we're, we're after doing the game after we're just, sorry we're doing the, we're doing the, the we're chat doing afterwards the chat, which is, oh my listen, goodness listen that's even better that's I, I think I'd rather do the chat afterwards yeah oh hold before. on does that mean I'm just looking at my producer that mean like, can I have a beer or not while the game's on he says one yeah one per half or just one one per half but uh, you know what? I do slightly not worry but I think when the, the draw was made and we got the teams we did, Wales, USA and Iran, everyone just went, done, done and dusted. But when you start hearing like European football experts and experts from around the world talk about Iran and USA and well, we know Wales or any other runner, the next to us, you, think, you suddenly go, oh, maybe this ain't going to be as plain sailing as we mm. think it is. Because obviously Carlos Queiroz, you know, he's at Manchester United, fantastic yeah. coach. Yeah. He's been in charge of Iran for a while now. That's not going to be easy. You were telling me this morning when you came, you spoke to someone or you heard someone speaking yeah, that we might not even get out. Was it the show before? On, on this station here, I heard okay. someone talking about that maybe England wouldn't get out of the group. Why? How? What? What? Because it apparently ran defensively solid. See, Iran are. Iran are defensively. I, you know, did a bit of research into this. U- USA, you never know. And Wales, obviously. How we can't, Benji. We can't not get out uh, of the group. That's Wales, ridiculous. having them last... <sighs> Listen, we'll tough. get out of the group. I think we'll get out of the course. I do. We will. Um, Early on, I, uh, I mentioned some of the teams we're looking forward to seeing. Of course, Brazil, Portugal as well. Um, let, just a quick word about France because we woke up to the news oh. that um, the Ballon d'Or it broke really, last night, didn't was it? it last night? Okay, mm. that Benzema won't be playing now. Picked up a, a knock in training. They assessed it, and it's a three-week injury. Yeah. So he's out the World Cup. That, of course, is on the back of uh, Kante, Conte, whatever you want to call mm. him, being out. Pogba as well. Yeah. They've got injury problems. So obviously, they've got Mbappe still up top. But how much of a blow do you think that'd be for France? Yeah, it's a massive blow um, what you all say is that they did win the last World Cup without him Benzema because it was, it was Olivier Giroud uh-huh. so they are used to playing a certain brand of football with Giroud up top and he's never let his country down I mean he's two goals I think behind Thierry Henry's all time French uh, goal scoring record so we know that he can do the job but of course when you see someone who's just won the Ballon d'Or having like, pl- probably playing his best football in his career um, out of the major tournament I mean his, his statement was sad as well because he basically pretty much when I, I, I read it and, and read between the lines is that he probably could have tried to push it or force it but he just said, there's no point. He wants to give someone else the, a better mm. opportunity of, of France winning it. So, listen, I'm gutted that Benzema's out. He's had a, one hell of a year. But they've still got, as you said there, the, the players they've got. I mean, Nkunku's another one they lost. That's of right. Course, another out. one they yeah, lost. That's right. So, they've still got players that can, can hurt you. And they'll still be one of the favourites. Mm. Uh, every game, of course, is going to be live right here on TalkSport. Um, when you look at the, uh, the daily fixture lineup, we've got games at 10. We've got games at 1. We've got games at 4. And we've got games at 7. This is about the first week and a half, mm. give or take. Four games into the, how are you going to do that? Well, that's lockdown all over again, isn't it? <laughs> but, but some, but Happy lockdown. Yeah, but, but, but some of the games we're going to be getting will be decent other than lockdown when we got stuck with someone. You're like, what, really? But the, How are you going to do that, though? Seriously? Ten, easy. one, four, and seven? Easy. Well, you're just not going to move apart from when we need move. to come in? No. I watch, it, I, got, I watch it on the train if I'm on the train. Yeah. I watch it when I get into the studio. I watch it when I get back home. Uh, what other players are you looking forward to seeing? Of course, it's all going to be about Messi. The closer he gets to that final, mm. and it will be, if he does get there, his 1,000th career game, which yeah. you just sort of feel it's written in the stars for that to happen. 
It is, yeah, but then Ronaldo could say the same thing. So I'm looking for oh, they are the obvious ones, Mbappe, these guys. I'm looking forward to watching our very own Drew Bellingham. I mean, we've seen him in the Champions League, mm-hmm. been fantastic, hasn't he? He's been brilliant. Can he now go up another level? Now, where people were expecting, we don't know, but we're expecting it to be uh, Declan Rice, Drew Bellingham. Can he take it to the next level? Can mm-hmm. he help England in that midfield area? Creativity, get the goals, play with that hunger, that energy. Um, I'm looking forward to watching There's an article in the paper, actually, I think it was today, saying that Real Madrid rule themselves out. How true this is, I don't know. The window's not even open. Would rule themselves out for a £150 million deal for Drew Bellingham. Do you think that's the sort of money we'll be talking about to prize them away yeah, from Germany? Yeah, I would probably say so. And Real Madrid's saying they're, they're ruling them out. They will find that from somewhere. Of course they, they, they will. They bid in, their Janu- in the January window yeah. when a guy was, was on a free for Mbappe, like 180 million. Yeah. Instead of got one day, I think they were willing to pay the same money. That <laughs> exactly. So, um, no, it will be around that figure because he's young. He's only 19. Mm. That's the scary part. He's only it's 19. Crazy, you could get him for the next 10 years. Mm. That's why he's so expensive. You and I, a bit later on, will be picking our team, our England team, that we think we would like to see. I still yeah. don't know if this is what we, I'm looking at. Producer, we would like to see or we think Southgate, we would like to see. Yeah. Uh, my England team previously to... Um, I, I'm still not sure what, what the latest is with James Madison, but... He would have been in my three, right? If yeah. he's not going to be fit for the game, and it looks like he's not. Um, I then had trouble picking that third slot. Now, see, it would have been Madison for me, and then the person who I have in midfield would have moved up top. So it wasn't that hard for me, but still, I bet our teams are similar.